ये जब अपलोड होगा एपिसोड तो एटलीस्ट हाफ एन आवर के लिए आई विल बी लाइव ऑन ऑन द ऑन द चैट सो यू कैन कमेंट यू कैन राइट टू मी वी विल आंसर टू यू एंड आई विल बी देयर टू शेयर दिस एक्सपीरियंस विद यू द वन ऑफ दोस मेल्स व्हिच आई एम अफ्रेड आफ्टर आई फिनिश द एपिसोड देयर माइट नॉट बी मच लेफ्ट फॉर द टीम इट्स अ पॉसिबिलिटी अरे बाप रे this has been it's a highlight meal i've come to meet patrick de souza go let's go i've come to goa after nearly 10 years and all around me i am just disappointed because all i can find over here are udupi restaurants vegetarian restaurants pure veg restaurants vaishnav dhabas and biryani What I want, what I'm looking for, is a really good Goan Catholic meal, for which I have come to Nerul, which is a village in Goa, and a place called Bhatti Village. Reputedly, Bhatti Village has the finest Goan Catholic food. So, you want a really good Goan Catholic experience? Come with me to Bhatti Village and let's ask them. Okay, खाने में क्या है? I've come to meet Patrick De Souza, who's the owner of this place. So let's go find him. So with great difficulty, I've managed to meet Patrick. Patrick De Souza. Yeah. Patrick is the owner of Bhatti Village, and he's doing a service to us because this food is not available anywhere. Isn't that true, Patrick? Yeah, mostly. Mostly, very difficult to find good, yeah, yeah, good authentic, authentic, yeah. authentic uh, Catholic Goan food, right? Yeah, yeah. It was a very small restaurant for locals. Uh huh. Then gradually, you know. Customers started coming. We have uh, uh, varieties of pork meat. Okay. Then beef. Okay. And all types of meats. So that there is a uh, chicken mm. or lamb. Okay. Varieties of seafood which is not available in some other restaurants. So who cooks in this? Yeah, my wife. Oh, so this is like a really huh. mom and pop place yeah, if yeah, I may yeah. say that. You know. Yeah. It's uh, it's homemade food, asli Catholic Goan food cooked yeah. at home. Yeah. Royston, how are you, man? All good. Oh, listen, <laughs> your father has told me that you are a damn good chef, and you are handling the kitchen with your mother single-handedly. Just, I just love it, you know. Father, mother, son running this restaurant. It is the most, it is the greatest thing that you can do. So, Royston, what is cooking? Tell yeah, me. What so is I've, on the menu? What am I eating? Yeah. So, for the starters, uh, we have made you a silver bait fish. Okay. Uh, which is our special at our restaurant over here. Okay. This is a crumb fried with rava, with semolina. But people at home they eat it, mm. but you won't find in any restaurants in Goa. So, mm. we are the only restaurant on who have introduced this. Okay. Then, uh, then we have a special fish roe for you. Fish roe. Yeah. Fish eggs. Huh. Yeah. So the particular fish, you know. Gaboi. Gaboi in Konkan, we huh. call it as. Correct. Yeah. Then uh, we have a uh, roast tongue, which okay. is of beef. Okay. Yeah. Then uh, we have the prawn balcha, which is in the making here. And the prawn balcha is with the heads and the everything. Yeah. The everything. head. The flavor is in the head. Is in the head. Yeah. And, and for your mains, uh, we have a dry shrimp curry. Traditionally, for uh, Goan weddings, you get it. Okay. Nice. Along with some rice, boiled rice, along with some sannas, along with some poi's. Oh. You got to enjoy the whole the this meal. This is a full, full, proper, proper meal. Okay. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. And I promise you. I'm going to bite on the heads of the prawn. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> let's eat. Oh, 
hot afternoon in Goa, great Goan food in front of me, and a glass of urak with lemon in it. First, I'm going to say cheers, and then we shall eat. Cheers. Ah, delicious. So I'm trying to figure out what I should start with, and I think maybe I should just start with the pork. It's a good idea, no? And I'm going to take a little tongue. And obviously, I'm going to eat it from the English. I've never eaten this before. And it's sour, tangy, full of garlic, green chilies, a little bit of masala, and it's very, very unusual. In fact, it's brilliant. Oof, this is really good. Now the tongue, which is a delicacy in Goa. And this tongue has been cooked in a sort of green masala, which is coriander, green chilies, similar to the kafriyal. When you put the same masala, in chicken or red meat, the flavor of the masala also changes, and this is just unbelievable. Good. But this also I can't get over. It. I can't get over it, man. Now let's try the gaburi or the fish roe. Fish roe, जो होता है वो fish के अंडे होते हैं यार gaburi. And before the gaburi, I'm going to get some water. So the gaburi, as you can see, is the egg of the fish. It's fish roe. It's like uh, how do I describe it? It's like a, it's a caviar done with masala. And now to try some of this white bread. Small tiny fish. Apparently it's a speciality in but only in the homes. आपको कहीं रेस्टोरेंट में नहीं मिलेगा लेकिन अगर किसी के घर जाओगे आप गोवा में तो आपको जरूर मिलेगा ये नाउ Let's move to the sannas. This is the sanna. It's a, it's a bread. It's made out of rice. It's fermented with toddy, and I'm going to have it with the balcha. The balcha, the prawn balcha. Is a very strong flavor because one, it's concentrated. Two, it's made out of there's a lot of vinegar in it, and so it's nearly a pickle. Hmm. Oh, it's excellent. It's red chilies, spices, and vinegar all ground together. As it was advised, I suck on the head. So one of those meals which I'm afraid of. after I finish the episode, there might not be much left for the team. It's a possibility. Wait, wait, wait. 
Shitkodi. Raishan Kari is left. So this is gold rice, which they call ukde or I, I call fat rice. And traditionally what, you make a hole in the middle of the rice like this, like this, like this, and then you put the curry inside and this is what, exactly what I'm going to do. These prawns are dried prawns and they're made, and the curry is made with a lot of mango in it, the flesh of the mango. Unbelievably bit. Oh! First of all, I'm very fond of dry fish or dry prawns. And this is the oh, this is a killer. God bless this place. I think this is one of the finest meals I've eaten on Khane Me Kya Hai. It is just out of this world. Clean. Now to finish this old-fashioned Portuguese dessert called Seradora. Ah. Kya kahu main? So, agar aapko aise hi episode aur dekhne hai, to please write to us, comment, subscribe. So, aate rahiye. खाते रहिए और पूछ रहिए कि यू नो द आंसर खाने में क्या है खाते जाओ आते जाओ गोवा आओ बाल चाओ से व्हाट ओके आई नो इट्स डिफिकल्ट बट इफ यू हैड टू पिक इफ यू हैड टू पिक वन डिश आई टेल यू द करी राइस it's really? yes it's un the curry rice because i i really like dry shrimp okay better than the baljo oh, the baljo is very good and the pork this is the most unusual pork i've ever eaten <laughs> this curry was mind blowing <laughs> god man that curry is though it just is just un people you know they don't uh, know what this type of curry is because yeah. they never had it before mm. When we suggest it to the customers, now mm. they really enjoy the curry. Yeah, they say it is out of the world. It is, and I have a really soft corner for dried shrimp. I like dried shrimp in every form, kiss more, waste more, everything. And when you put it in curry, it just is just like, oh, it's just brilliant. And even the pork, I, I like everything, but the pork with because I've never tasted this pork before, never. Even most of the places, you no, know, they do pork salant leg, just similar to. The bindi salt, okay. but has tamarind. This has garlic and uh -huh. coconut. Coconut, coconut. 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 Coconut.